Hey TC Kids, I'm your host Tess, and today we have another guest that was present at the time of our story. Let's welcome out Nehemiah. Hi Tess, thanks for having me. Ugh, I am feeling a bit boat lagged though. Boat lagged? Don't you mean jet lagged? No, I mean boat lagged. What's a jet? You know what? Never mind. Nehemiah, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I've got a good old fashioned Bible name, but I'm probably not the Nehemiah you're thinking. Well, that's funny your name is Nehemiah, because you actually look so familiar. TC Kids, doesn't he look familiar? Well, never mind, we don't have time for that. Why don't you tell us what you do? Well, I'm a second commander in the army. Like command, like on my laptop command? No, like in an army command. Oh, I got it. What was it like being second in command in an army? Well, I learned a lot about respect and discipline and uh, respecting leadership. That's great. I can't even imagine how cool it must have been to do something like that. Were you and your commander close? Oh, uh, yeah, we were pretty close. You uh, were close. Over time. Yeah. But uh, another cool thing about my commander, he knew Jesus. He got to spend time with, like, with Jesus while he was on earth. That is crazy. And did your commander have the same relationship you had with Jesus? I think so. Over time, he uh, grew to love Jesus just as much as I loved him. That is so cool. I cannot wait to hear more about your story, Nehemiah. But before we move on, let's take a pause and worship together. But we'll come right back and play a game after. In this presence, my end up on wings like an eagle. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit and we go wherever he go. That is my amigo, yeah, 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 yeah. In his presence, my end up on wings like an ego. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit and we go wherever he go. That is my amigo. presence my end up on wings like an ego. glory heavy so i gotta let go of my ego. got the holy spirit and we go wherever ego. that is my amigo yeah 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 in this presence not in up on wings like an ego. glory heavy so i gotta let go of my ego. got the holy spirit and we go wherever ego. that is my amigo can come in the room like Jehovah can move and open the tomb and close with the wound yeah we know and all of my people spirit of God is God the son is the equal. came on the Lord the lambs the gold but he coming back for the sequel out of the grave yeah. having his way I got the cheek on he don't behave yeah setting off chains we call the depot ain't gotta remember me though holy holy father free flow come and do it only you can do it let me go Lord free flow holy spirit come down presence my end up on wings like an ego. glory heavy so i gotta let go of my ego. got the 
Holy Spirit and we go wherever he goes. That is my amigo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And his presence starting up on wings like an eagle. Glory heaven, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit and we go wherever. That is my amigo. Wow, worship was so much fun, but now it is time to play a game. Are you ready for a game, Nehemiah? I'm ready. Let's do it. So in this game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold a card up to our head, just like this, and the card will have a word on it. And you might also see the word right here. But with this card on our head, the other person is going to act it out as we try to guess. Does that sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, Nehemiah, I'm gonna have you start. You can grab that one right off there. Okay, um, you got it. Remember. Yes, that's right. Just like our bottom line talks about. We're talking all about remembering. Okay, now I am going to go. Uh, 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 others. That's right. Yes, just like in our memory verse talks about others. Okay, Nehemiah, here is the last one. Okay, the last one, we're gonna go. Well, I'm not sure we're supposed to hum, but that's respect. Yes, that's right, just like this month's theme. Now, Nehemiah, I'm getting pretty tired from this game. What do you say we go and hear our Bible story? I'm ready. Let's do it. Today's Bible story can be found in Matthew 8, verses 5 through 13. And if you remember, Jesus came down to earth, and once he was here, he went all over sharing the gospel, or the good news. Now Jesus taught people about God and did a whole lot of miracles. Now Capernaum was Jesus' home base. That's where it all started for his teaching. Everyone in Capernaum knew about Jesus. Not just some of them, but everyone knew Jesus. Jesus taught people about God and did a bunch of miracles. Now Capernaum was Jesus' home base. That's where it all started for him. Everyone in Capernaum knew about Jesus. Not just some of them, but everyone knew Jesus. Even the Roman soldiers who ruled over the Jews at the time. Now one day Jesus entered Capernaum and he met a Roman army commander. The commander told Jesus that his servant was very sick and he was getting worried. He had heard that Jesus had performed many miracles and so he came to see if Jesus might be able to help do something. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Now the commander was a Roman, but he knew and believed that Jesus had the authority to heal his servant. The commander even believed that Jesus had more power and authority than he did. And he was a commander. He believed that Jesus, that all Jesus had to do was speak a word from anywhere and his servant would be healed. Jesus saw the commander's faith and was amazed. Jesus made it clear that if anyone has faith, then they can be healed. God's kingdom was not just for the people who came from the right background. Even though the commander was Roman and not Jewish, Jesus was still going to heal his servant. Jesus told the commander that he would heal his servant, and he did. That commander had great faith in Jesus. He believed that Jesus had the power to heal, and he knew that Jesus was very important. He had respect, and he believed in Jesus' authority. Jesus did what the commander had asked and healed the servant who was sick. We also have the opportunity to show the same respect to God. We can put him first in everything we do, and we can always remember that God is the most important. God created the whole universe, yet we can still talk to Him and know God personally. Now, if you would like to have that opportunity to know God on this personal level, all you have to do is pray a simple prayer and believe it in your heart. Repeat after me. Say, Dear God, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus. I believe He lived, died, and rose again just for me. Today, I give you my life. Change me, renew me, transform me. I'm yours. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Now, if you just prayed that prayer, you made the best decision ever. And we want to hear about it. Make sure to click the I Choose Jesus link below so we know that you made that decision. Great job. Hey, was it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means that you are a VIP. Now, VIP stands for Very Important Person, and that is you. So click the link below right here that says I'm new to TC Kids. Can't wait to meet you. Wow, what an amazing Bible story. I loved how Jesus taught us about healing and he taught a little bit. Well, TC Kids, we have had so much fun today. And Nehemiah, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me, Jess. Of course. TC Kids, always remember, we love you, God loves you, and go out and live a transformed life.